Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nicole. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing a story time about one of these toxic young men out in these streets. Maybe I can save y'all from making the same mistakes I made because myself, I was a dummy, like <laughs> for real. But um, yeah, I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. this was like my senior year of high school and i had me and my friends used to go to like this lounge like every weekend like either every weekend or like twice a week like we was always there so this one day we had went there just like just to you know friday i guess just go out so we had went and this guy came up to me and he was telling me he's like oh my my friend he like he thinks you're really pretty like he wants to talk to you and I'm just like, okay. And he was like, oh, go over there. And I'm just like, no, if you want to talk to me, you can come up to me, but I'm not going anywhere. Like, I don't want to go. I don't want to. I don't even know who this is. Like, if he wants to talk to me, you could come in my face and you could say something. So he came and he was like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, trying to like get my number and stuff like that. So I eventually gave him my number. I was like, okay, like, whatever. So. I was like, this was, we was talking for about a month, maybe, <laughs> like, not really that long, but we got really close, like, we were really friendly towards each other, like, he was like, like, honestly, he was like, m more my friend than somebody I talked to, so we was really close, like, we was, I was always with him, and like, we was on, he's kind of crazy, y'all, so we was on the phone, literally, all day long, like, if I missed his call, he would call me like a hundred times. If I didn't pick up the phone, he would text me like, why are you not answering the phone? Even though it's weird though, because like, even though we were like friends, he still was like my man, kind of, not really, not really. But like, he would, like, would make himself as if like, he would treat it like the relationship that we had as if he was my boyfriend, even though he was not my boyfriend and he was barely even my man. I barely even knew him, like, but yeah so like he was kind of like you know crazy and um every time i didn't answer the phone it would always be a problem or an issue so one day like probably toward the end of us talking which is like this is when this happened mind y'all this is like a grown man like he's not like my age at all i'm 18 and he was just a little bit older than me maybe like almost a decade older than me but regardless we was talking and stuff and like he had told me one day to come with him somewhere because he wanted to go get something and like where he was going it was kind of far so he was like oh like come with me so i don't have to be by myself i'm like cool so i left my friend's house and i was like okay i'm about to like go over there and like go with him somewhere so i went over there cool mind you like two days prior he had found out that i was talking to another boy oh my god he like almost died and i'm just like bro what is wrong with you like you're acting like a crazy person because i talked to somebody else you're not my boyfriend he's not my boyfriend you should not be looking at my phone and like what's like i don't understand like he he used to tell me like all of these girls that he would talk to, he would be like, oh, I talk to this girl, I talk to this girl. Like, I don't need to talk to you. I could talk to whoever I want. All of this crazy stuff. And I was just like, okay. Like, I personally, I really didn't care because, like, it really wasn't, I didn't even know who he was. So it really didn't bother me. Like, I didn't like him like that. So it was just like, whatever. Like, bro, you can talk to who you want. I can talk to who I want. I don't care. So... We was on our way to like this um where was we going? We was going to Home Goods. But like it was really far. So it was like like an hour and thirty minutes away. But like with traffic it was like two hours. So it was like so far. It took so long to for us to get there. But like before we got there, y'all, you would have never thought that this day would have played out the way it did. Like honestly you would not. 
before we got there it's a freaking nice day out sun is beaming it's nice and hot it feels good it's summertime we ride it with the windows down air breezing you know it's like a movie scene like we it was a nice day like i'm just like wow this is a good day i'm feeling good like whatever got food like it was just really like a calm day everything was valid so we got to home goods picked out the stuff that he wanted in home goods and we had left we went to a store next door do you want to get down okay <laughs> i went to home goods and got what like what he needed and then after we went to home goods we went to a store next We went to a store next door, right? And he only had to get, like, I think socks. He got socks from the store next door. So we're in line, right? He called his friend, and his his phone had died. Him and his friend was on the phone. His phone died. So he asked me. He's like, oh, can I use your phone? Mind you, prior, he went through my phone and seen I was talking to somebody, and he had read the name, so he knew what he was y'all i got freaking played right there like i really got played he read the name i know he remembered the name he knew that in the back of his head he had that in his head like he had that on his mind so his phone died he asked me he's like can i use your phone to call him back mind you i'm i'm thinking like he really is about to use my phone because i just watched his phone died like i i, I wasn't even questioning it so i'm like yeah sure my stupid self why would i do this why would i do this i give him my phone and i'm like telling him i'm like oh like stand right here <sighs> y'all he tricks me he puts the number in right he presses the, the dial tone he calls and then hangs up and runs away with my phone y'all i was <laughs> Oh my god, I was so mad. I was like, no, he didn't. Bro, we're standing in line, mind you. We're next to to pay. He runs the other direction and it starts going through my phone. I start like going, I'm like, bro, give me my phone, give me my phone. And I'm not even trying to make it seem like a big deal because I'm just like, I'm not about to like make a whole scene. But I'm just like, give me my phone back. Like, why are you running with my phone? He's like oh, um, I need to see this, I need to see this. I'm like, bro, like, give me my phone back. What are you doing? And you know when you start laughing at people who are mad and they just get more mad? That's what happened, y'all. So I'm I'm, I'm a key, 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 because I'm like, this. you're doing a lot. And he's getting mad. Like, he's like, bro, this is not funny. This is not funny. And I'm just like, you're making a scene and you're like, super old. Like, what are you doing? So where he he starts going through my phone and he sees that i talked to the other boy and he's like oh um he starts calling me all types of names like every name in the book was listed right there the peoples is looking at me like you is really sitting here with this man right here and he's saying all of this and i'm just like y'all i don't even know what's going on right now like i really don't know what's going on so he starts calling me this that you you're this like just going crazy on me screaming in the people's place and the guy i was so mad y'all i was so mad the guy that's about to like um like the register the cashier i'm sorry the cashier he's looking at me mind you you see me getting like in this situation right here he's gonna ask me so are you gonna pay for that sir hello like do you see what's going on so I'm just like, yes, I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. Like, hold on. Like, you see me going through stuff. So I'm just like telling him, I'm like, bro, pay for your stuff and let's go. Like, you're being like mad immature for no reason. Like, it's not that serious. Like, okay, I talked to somebody. You talked to how many people? Like, you're not my boyfriend. I'm not your girlfriend. Definitely not my husband. So please, sir. Like, we don't even really know each other like that. So he, like, we pay for our stuff. We're leaving. We're walking to the car still don't have my phone he's calling people he calls the boy on facetime right bro i don't know what happened after that i really don't i tried to hang up so quick i'm like bro you're, you're welling like, this is 
bugging. Like, he's calling mad people on my phone. Mind you, he, now he's just calling, like, my contacts. Like, any any name in my contacts that looks like a boy's name, he's calling them and, and speaking to them. He called literally everybody in my phone. And I'm just like, bro, you're literally dragging this whole situation. Like, you're just calling people that, like, I don't even speak to. Like, you're being mad weird. So we get to the car and he plugs in his phone and calls his friend back he's like bro this is he's just going crazy on me like he's saying everything about me talking to his friend and the thing is this is not the first time we had like an argument or like a problem like this because like i said he is very toxic and very sick in the head so he does this very often like it's literally every other day i have a problem with this man because he has a problem with everything like I'm just like, bro, you cannot be acting like a crazy person all the time. Like, that's not cute. You're too old to be doing that. So this is his friend already knows him. So he already knows he acts like this on a regular basis. So his friend is on the phone with him. He's like, oh, bro, chill. Like, y'all do this all the time. Y'all got to chill. Y'all got to chill. And the thing with me and him, every time we was arguing, we would always, like, put our hands on each other. Like, we would always hit each other. And... <sighs> We get it like we we get it like i would be breaking my nail y'all that's not funny like don't be putting your hands on people vice versa like girls don't put your hands on boys boys don't put your hands on girls because like y'all should not be doing that anyways but that's just what it was like we would like always like be doing extraness so that time his friends like oh y'all always do this y'all need to chill y'all need to chill mind you he's on the phone and i'm like standing in the door of the car and he's sitting in the seat like he's sitting in the driver's seat and he's on the phone i'm trying to tell him i'm trying to grab my phone from him and then he's trying to press the like the 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 button to start the car trying to leave he's like oh you're not coming with me you're not coming with me um call yourself a cab call yourself a cab i'm like bro give me my phone like you're acting like a crazy person i'm just like trying to tell him like you're really blowing this whole thing out of proportion because it's not even that serious so he's like you're not coming with me you're not coming with me i'm like i don't care i don't care give me my phone matter of fact his friend screen recorded that whole argument if i find it i'm gonna i'm gonna insert it but he's like he's like i don't care i don't care you're not coming with me call yourself a cab i'm like you're being a baby like this is not even that deep whatever so his friend eventually like calmed him down a little bit and told him like bro like just leave it it's not that serious like y'all do this all the time y'all gonna argue right now and be good in the next couple minutes or whatever next couple days so he was just like you know when you get mad and you just stop arguing so you're just like you're just quiet but you're still mad that's what happened to him so like i had got back in the car and he still had my phone and i was like can you give me my phone back he's looking at me i'm like hello can you give me my phone he's like you want your phone you want your phone i'm like yes give me my phone so this man he gonna say if you want your phone go get it opens the car door okay takes my phone and chucks it out the door and speeds away i'm in the car i'm like bro what is wrong with you <laughs> y'all what the freak i'm like bro what's wrong with you like something you're crazy or something because why would you do that like why would you just throw my phone out the car like that like bro when i bro i just wish y'all could understand this like this is not my boyfriend this is just some guy i was talking to like literally in less than a month we, like we were not serious at all so i'm just like i'm just looking at this situation i'm just like bro you're li like you're literally acting like a lunatic but for what like why are you doing that so i start going i start like getting tight like now i'm mad like now i'm upset because why would you just throw my phone out of the car so i'm yelling at him i'm like bro what the like turn around go get my phone he's like oh go get it you said you wanted it so go get it now i'm thinking i'm like bro like i'm on a freaking highway 
like how am i supposed to go get the phone and you just drove off like that like i'm confused like i don't even know where i'm at to be able to say like let me just go get it like you just threw it somewhere like <laughs> yeah this is so funny like i'm just sitting here like so confused like i don't know what to do like okay now this is how you know he's toxic and manipulative because some way somehow i was not even like thinking about it like i was just like i could get a new phone it's whatever i could just get a new phone what girl you better go get that phone like you was crazy so time is passing we drive all the way back to like the city and stuff and whatever we stop in some construction area mind you this whole car ride back not a peep nobody was talking we was straight like silent in the car i don't even think i think we were listening to the radio i don't know about y'all but i don't listen to the radio i listen to like whatever i'm playing on my phone or whoever's playing their, their the music off their phone the radio though i'm cool off that all them commercials i'm cool so we was really listening to the radio nobody said nothing the whole way there like it was just silent so he like parks in this like construction area now me i'm thinking i'm like with this crazy man and i'm just like a construction area and he's mad at me Y'all, you think this man's about to take my life or something? I'm scared because I don't know what's about to happen. So I'm sitting here. I'm like, um, why are we stopping in this? Like, why are we here? He's not saying nothing. I'm like, <laughs> hello, why are we here? Like, what are we doing here? He's still not saying nothing. He gets out the car. I'm just like, like, y'all, I'm panicking because I'm like, what the freak is going on? Like, why are we stopping here? Like, what is he about to do he's getting out the car like he's he went okay so this is how this is when i really got scared because i'm like okay we're sitting in a construction site you're getting out the car and he walks in the back of the car so he walks from like his seat and goes by the trunk and then walks back <laughs> i'm scared like i don't know what's going on bro this man went and and go took a, a wee wee he went to go pee and i'm just like bro you have me panicking and you could have just said oh i have to go to the bathroom or something like you got me scared like thinking i'm about to lose my life or you about to kidnap me or something like i don't know what's going on so he gets back to the car and then he's like starts talking to me now he's like okay like so what you want to do like you want to go here you want to go there he had to go to another store to pick up something so, but he had to pick it up at a certain time. So we had went to a park and we was like walking around because we was in the city. So we was just walking around and stuff like that. And then we, we was mad cool. We wasn't talking about the situation at all. It was just like regular, like we was back to being like friends and stuff like that. We was really friendly. So we're just talking and whatever, get back in the car. His friend calls him on FaceTime. He's like, bro, they have this secret language that they be speaking, right? So they're talking in front of me, but I have no idea what they're saying. Like, I don't know what they're talking about, but they're talking to each other in front of me. And I'm just like trying to figure out what they're talking about. I have no idea. So he gets off the phone with him and he looks at me. He's like, you know what that was about? I'm like, no, what y'all was talking about? He was like, oh, people is looking for you. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, people is calling your phone and you're not answering. I'm like, well, I'm not answering because I don't have my phone because you threw it out the car. And he was like, oh, well, you need to call your friend. You need to call your friend. So his friend sent my friend's number to his phone. So I called her off his phone. I'm like, hello, like, what's up? She's like, bro, where are you at? I'm like, I'm in the city somewhere. Like, what happened? She's like, bro, the boy that I was talking to, the other boy that he seen in my phone, He's calling me and calling my friends trying to figure out where I'm at because he said that he could tell something was wrong because I guess like he texted the guy like um the guy was with texted the guy and told him something but deleted the messages or something because when I went when I like got my phone back like I didn't see nothing so I'm like I'm like what and mind you she said his name on the phone so you know <laughs> Yeah, this story is like I can't believe this really happened. Like this is just a joke. Like you know when you can hear who's talking over the phone, even though it's not on speaker, cause like the volume's all the way up. That's what happened. And she said his name. He has a very distinct name. So she said his name, and he already knows the name. 
so when she said it he immediately got mad all over again she's like bro um what did i name him i named him cody so let me name him roger she's like bro roger's calling for like looking for you he called me and he called my other friend and he's telling me like where am i at this is and that i'm just like bro what like i didn't even realize like this was gonna be even that serious i thought i was just about to go home and tell my mom i need to go get my phone like i thought it was like bro it turned into this whole other situation so i'm like what bro he's like she's like yeah he called your mom he told your mom that he can't he doesn't know where you're at and somebody has your phone and you're with somebody that took your phone or something and i'm just like what like how does he even know this she was like i don't know bro but like you gotta go home and like speak to your mother i'm like okay so i'm telling him i'm like can you take me home he's like no i'm like why you can't take me home he's like oh go ask roger to take you home go ask roger to take you home i'm like bro here we go what the freak like you're too old to be doing this like bro he is too old y'all if you're if i'm 18 and you're almost a decade older than me how old are you too old to be doing this so i'm just like i'm just like bro are you serious like whatever i don't care i got out the car i went home and i was talking to my mom and stuff and like that. she was like oh well i didn't know like he's calling me and stuff like that but i called your phone and like somebody found it and they brought it to a restaurant so your phone is fine you can go get it i'm like okay so i talked to roger roger was like nah i was just concerned i didn't know what happened but like i could tell something was wrong because like you don't like the, apparently the text that was sent he was saying like i don't text like that so he knew something was wrong and the fact that i had called him mul multiple times me which was not me it was cody that i had called him multiple times and I was like, oh, well, like, yeah, I'm fine. But, like, it was just, like, this whole situation. He's like, nah, I understand. Like, it was whatever. That is how you should react. Mind you, Roger is older than me, too. But, like, he's, like, he's not, like, old. Like, he's probably, like, four or five years older than me. Let me see. That, sound, that's kind, that sounds kind of old. <laughs> Okay, five is right. Wait, four, four, four is right. So he's like older than me too, but like he was just like acting like really mature about the whole thing. So I'm like, okay. So Cody, I get home and I, I like call him. I'm like, oh, um, they said that they found my phone and stuff like that. Like, can you go with me to get it? And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna take you. Cause I was just like, you're not about to like throw my phone out and like, not get it back like you have to go get my phone so i told him that he could like go get it for me or whatever mind you i i like thought about it after and i was like do i really want him to take me to get my phone no so i had somebody else i called somebody else i was like can you take me and get my phone so i had got my phone like two days later mind you two days after okay so i got my phone two days later and then two days after i got my phone cody gets on a flight with somebody else and goes across the world and i'm just like what like what just happened <laughs> and then after he does that see this is what happens when you be trying to play with people see this is what happens after he gets on the flight and he goes all the way across the world on his little vacation excuse me vacation he calls me and he's like oh um can you please can you please get this girl like to to leave can you like do all, like he's trying to get me to do all of this and i'm just like no like are you crazy Stink? like no we're not doing that he's like oh um cancel her flight um i don't want her to be here I, she could stay here she could stay here i don't care and i'm thinking about it like okay you're like you're calling me out of like everybody that you know you're calling me to cancel somebody else's flight because you don't want them to be there with you anymore and then i'm just like thinking about it okay i'm like whatever like kind of mad because like you have another girl with you but then i'm thinking about it as like a person and i'm like i would never cancel somebody's flight for them to stay across the world and like not know what to do like what i will never ever do something like that so i'm like talking to him i'm like yeah you're going crazy like you need to just deal with it and like let it be because 
you're not about to just you're not about to have me have somebody else stranded across the world i'm not doing that to nobody i'm not canceling nobody's flight like no he's like please like i'm sending you all the information just do it because he paid for it like on his cards and stuff like that so he has like obviously he if he wants to cancel it he could cancel it like that's his ticket that he paid for i said no 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 sir i don't want nothing to do with it like no like absolutely not but yeah even after all of that y'all me and cody are still friends like i'm still cool with him he has a girlfriend now she's mad nice Yeah, but me and Cody is cool. Like, we don't talk about that, though. I don't talk... Like, that never comes up. The fact that me and him used to, like, talk or whatever. I'm gonna put talk because we didn't really talk about it. Talk? Like, we don't talk about that because... Mm -mm. No, boo. No. Absolutely not. Crazy, lunatic, toxic, sick in the head. Like, that is Cody and I don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. But I hope y'all enjoyed my story time about getting my phone thrown out the car. <laughs> but um, yeah, make sure y'all hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in my next video.